Namaste. I'm going to read from my book, Fire of Love, the chapter on wisdom. I'm going to read a story that I have written in this chapter. It's on page 48. When I was a boy, my mother told me this timeless story. More than seven centuries ago, in Persia lived the great poet and seer Hafiz. He was renowned and highly respected for the deep and powerful spirituality of his magical poetry. Poetry that is recited even today. Hafiz also farmed and loved tilling the soil. He was frequently invited to lavish parties at the homes of local wealthy aristocrats. One day, Hafiz was planning to attend such an event at a mansion nearby. Working all day tending the soil, he lost his sense of time. Not wanting to be disrespectful by arriving too late for the dinner, he decided to go in his farming clothes. He quickly washed his face and hands and ran a comb through his hair. Tired and hungry, Hafiz arrived at the party. No one noticed his entry, no one paid him any attention, and perhaps even worse, no one offered him any food. <laughs> After enduring half an hour of neglect and hunger, he resigned himself to his invisibility and returned home. He removed his farming clothes and put on his finery. Dressed in colorful silks, fancy pointed shoes, an embroidered cap and gold rings, he returned to the party. As soon as he entered the mansion's gates, People rushed up to him, bowed profusely and exclaimed, Noble Hafiz, welcome. It is a great honor to have your exalted presence. Grace our gathering. He was given the seat of honor at the head of the table and trays of luscious delicacies were piled in front of him by a swarming horde of servants. Hafi settled into his seat and slowly picked up the delicacies. He stuffed them into his pockets and he smeared them all over his beautiful clothes. With a flourish, he then took a goblet full of rare and expensive wine and poured it all over his attire. The hosts and the guests were shocked and after whispering amongst themselves, finally they begged Hafiz to explain his uh, rather peculiar conduct. <laughs> after all, he was usually so poised and elegant. Why this uncharacteristic behavior? What has happened today? The poet gently replied, I arrived but an hour ago, wearing my farming clothes, but no one noticed me and no one cared that I was here. My only companions were neglect and hunger. <laughs> so I left to go back home, my departure being as profoundly significant to all of you as my arrival. Then I dressed myself up in my finest garments and returned moments ago. Here I am, being given this warm reception, this magnificent feast, this adoring gaze. This can only mean that your attention, your care and your love are, intent are intended for my clothes and not for me. Therefore it is them that deserve the food. 